total PNI influenza deaths exceeded the 2017-2018 season with 80,000 dead. So just as we're starting to, you know, the coronavirus is taking off, we already have more than 80,000 people dead from influenza. So it's worse than it's ever been in recent history. And the other thing you may notice here <clears throat> is that in this column of uh, PNI deaths, starting January 1st, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000 every week. Over 4,000 people are dying from influenza. And we get to week 13, 6,400 people. It's not as many as coronavirus, 9,400. But when you add the two together, it's rather significant. It's 18,000 people that week that died. In 2009, when Barack Obama had the swine flu epidemic that was declared a global pandemic, only 12,000 people died in the U.S. that year, that season, from swine flu. 12,000. Here, you're seeing uh, 17, 18,000 people in one week died from coronavirus and influenza. And when we get down here to week 15, which is the week that ended April 18th, 16,200 people died from coronavirus and an additional 12,407 died from influenza. 28,000, more than 28,000 people that week. Here, 14,000 people this week, the week ending April 25th. About 14,000 died from coronavirus and another 11,000 from influenza. That's 25,000 that week. So right now, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burks are sitting on about 275,000 deaths. When we combine the coronavirus deaths and the influenza deaths that they don't seem to want to talk about. And the question is, well, why would they not want to talk about that? Why don't they want to discuss this H1N1 outbreak? Is there a reason? I'm not sure I know the answer to that. This is the California portal for 